But actually, President Marcos himself has said that it's not time to invoke the mutual defense treaty. And I think a lot of people here have a very simplistic understanding of what it entails. And they think, oh, shouldn't we be able to call on the U.S. in cases like this, right? What's it for if we were not able to trigger it at a time like this? Help us understand uh, the big and very real implications of activating this treaty. Yeah, I mean, Article 4 says an attack on either party is to be seen as an attack on both, and we have to coordinate then to meet that common danger. Well, if, uh, if an attack is what happened early this week with the shattering of, of the windshield on the Unai Zemai and the, the injury of five, four sailors, do people want that to be the, the trigger for a, a wider war? I, I would mm. think not. Of course mm. not. And so the threat of intervention under the NDT is what prevents China from just escalating military force. In the meantime, the Philippine Coast Guard and the Navy and BFAR are doing an admirable job. They are winning every single day. Every, China has blocked or tried to block every resupply mission to Ion Control for almost two years now. And every single mission has gotten through. That's a success. And most of them have gotten through with a US P-8 circling overhead to let the Chinese know that if they did escalate the force, the Americans are there to stand by our ally.